All right, what's up, you guys, and welcome to another episode of College Chowdown. This week, I'll be rating and reviewing Hamden Sydney College's dining hall. Hamden Sydney is a all boys school located in Farmville, Virginia. It is like the neighboring school with Longwood University, which I recorded and filmed last week. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna go see how the food is. I don't really have that high of expectations, but we shall see. Let's get into it. Let's eat. Reroute. <laughs> so here we are walking down to the dining hall of Hamden Sydney. We spotted this guy without his shirt on going in. Typical Hamden Sydney boy. <laughs> When we got into the dining hall, we realized it was kind of awkward walking in because there's a grand staircase with everyone like kind of looking at you as you walk in. We decided, fuck this. We need to think about this, go back to the car, get our, get our courage up. So we took a little car break. Here we are on our way back. I think what's so anxietizing about all of this is being the only girl. Let's get it to go. There's like six people in here. Why are you tripping? Because it's a trippy thing to do. We ended up paying $16 for two people to get into the dining hall. Originally online it said $12 per person. Not sure what happened. And here's the dining hall. Um, we came pretty late so there weren't many options left. I think they had packed up most of the food for the night. Um, Here's a little cheese bar, pasta bar. There wasn't any pizza left for the day. And they also have Pepsi products, which is just like Longwood, a little cereal station. And the drinks with lemonade, limeade, tea, water. The usual. And for dessert, all I saw was these lemon bars. I decided to get limeade because we do not have limeade at Longwood. And I love it. We were not able to go into both sides of the dining hall. They had a little section that was like a sandwich bar for like boar's head, which I love boar's head meats because that's what they use at Publix. So I'm assuming it was pretty good. However, did not try it. The dining room itself was very nice. The tables were wooden. The chairs were nice. And there's Miss Rachel getting embarrassed of me. Love you, girl. Rachel's about to try this plate of food. We have a variety of things, but we're going to start with the green beans. Flavor. There's um. not even salt. <laughs> They're dry as fuck. I think the image speaks for itself on this one. It's so dry, it's like shriveled up, just not good at all. No flavor either. I had to drink the chocolate milk to revive. <laughs> Here she goes in on the mashed potatoes, about to take her first bite. It's worse than the walk of shame. Okay, we do have a winner. The mashed potatoes were good. They tasted like potatoes. They did their job. They were salty. The texture was good. Good choice. Here we have the vegetarian meatloaf, which I've never seen at Longwood's Dining Hall. So this is a new thing. Um, she loves soy products, and she said that this was actually pretty good. She did end up finishing the whole thing. The texture was nice. The flavor was good. So as I said in my last video, I am a pasta fanatic, so I had to go ahead and give the pasta a try. The meat on it was so good. It was like a sausage kielbasa type of meat. Um, sauce average noodles were good. They had a little cheese station. I could put whatever cheese I wanted, red pepper flakes. I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. Next up, I tried this kind of vinegary olive mushroom tomato salad. It was actually really good. I've never had something like this before and definitely um, definitely a first, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10 for new experiences, and the taste was decent. Um, very sour type of salad. Tomatoes were fresh tasting, though. And now I just have cheese and crackers. I also love cheese and crackers. Um, you can't really go wrong with it. This first cheese I tried was kind of like a 
process tasting, like, you know, canned type of cheese type of taste. The cracker was fine, just a multi-grain cracker. And then I tried the cheese cubes, which was better than the um, canned cheese, but just give it a six out of 10. It's nothing special, it's just some cheese. Next up, I found this gray looking like worm thing in between my noodles. So I decided that was enough of the noodles that killed my vibe on the whole thing. And there is the boar's head sandwich station I was mentioning earlier. And then once you're done, you just take your dishes to a rotating belt sort of deal and drop them off and you're good to go. So my overall experience at the Hampton Sydney Dining Hall was okay. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's really the same quality as the school I reviewed last week, which was Longwood. Atmosphere, 8 out of 10. Food, 5 out of 10. Experience, 3 out of 10. We successfully made it out of Hampton Sydney Dining Hall. And don't forget to join us next week at the VCU Dining Hall in Richmond, Virginia.